Hi, this is Vince Horn. I'm here today at my grandparents' farm in Western North Carolina, and I've started to do some social distance farming, visiting with them uh, at a distance, hanging out outside, doing some, some gardening in, uh, um, on some of their land again this year. And uh, it's really been enjoyable. And so today I wanted to give you just a little brief tour of uh, what my grandparents are doing and what we're doing in their farm, a little farm update. Uh, and this is in addition to the gardening that we're doing at home, our, our home garden. So um, let's begin. So first we're gonna start with a tour of the raised beds. Yes. Yep, and uh, my video helper Xander is here. He's gonna be taking some extra photos. Right, Z? Uh -huh. Yep. Thank you. And what do we got? So we've got these six raised beds. These are big beds. And there are a lot of delicious things planted in here right now. We've got Arab cucumbers, which we're gonna be transplanting some of those today into the back garden. Behind those, we've got uh, onion and garlic growing. Um, I believe this is squash, Arab squash. Not sure what's in the bed over there. And then I believe here we've got some tomatoes. Some of them didn't survive the recent frost. We had a really late frost. Some of them are not doing okay after that. And then here in the last bed, uh, I don't remember what this is. Looks like maybe more squash. All right. And then let's see. So. The raised beds and we have the a greenhouse here this is my grandparents greenhouse and they grow a lot of stuff in here and this year my grandfather's been playing with some new techniques he's got these concrete blocks and he's planting uh, inside the blocks and and also using them as a perimeter for the for the growing space got some arugula and kale and lettuce a bunch of greens growing in here now and some tomatoes and there'll be peppers and um, a bunch of other stuff. And of course, you know, the greenhouse is so nice because it extends our, our window where we can grow food here in Southern Appalachia. Um, gets cold in the mountains in the winter here, doesn't it? Yeah. Not too cold, but cold enough we can't grow food without having a little support so that's why the greenhouse is here and then this is a new this is a new project that um that my grandfather latif is working on this is a new two new beds and then the concrete blocks around them with onions and i think that might be lettuce or kale there's some sort of green on one side and the onions on the other so he's working on a couple new new beds here that are i think pretty pretty interesting and we've got another one over here. Yeah. So lots of stuff being grown here in the in the greenhouse. And you want to go to the back garden? Yeah. Show them the back garden? Let's do it. The back garden. Yeah. So there's the barn. Believe it or not, I used to live in that barn. Grew up spending a few years living in the top of it. Now it's falling apart, so we don't, <laughs> we, have, we avoid going in there. Uh, it's mostly a home now for birds and mice and wasps. And now we're going back to the back garden. This is, um, this is the garden that we started planting in last year for, this is our first garden back here. And this year, um, Again, my grandfather's doing some experimentation. He's been watching a lot of YouTube videos, uh, which is awesome. And he decided to go with this new method back here of using these black tarps to um, really f to help with weed control. And they also, I think, really help, they probably help the soil too. Underneath the tarp, the soil can kind of decompose a bit more. So it helps the weeds helps with the soil. And then we've got an automated watering system here. So here my grandfather's already planted 
a bunch of stuff on the hay. There's potatoes uh, underneath the hay. And so at some point we'll be able to go underneath there and start digging for potatoes. And then we've got some tomatoes here and some other things. I don't actually know everything that's planted here, but I, th I think there's squash and cantaloupe and watermelon and some other stuff. And then this is where also we are starting to do a little planting ourselves, right? And our zucchini. Do you want to show show where the zucchini is? Yeah. Okay, why don't you show us? Um, yeah, I'm getting, can you hold my camera? Sure can. Yeah. Now I'll hold this and you can um, just go point it out. I'll be the cam I'll be your camera person. Yeah. So how many how many zucchini plants did we did we plant? We planted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zucchini plants. Seven zucchini plants. Yeah. And so we've got lots more room to plant in here. We're gonna do some transplanting today and bring some of those Arab cucumbers and Arab squash, thin them out in the raised beds, and bring some of them back here. And transplant them and hopefully they'll they'll take yep. yeah and that's it and then we've got you know we've got some other area here that's just not being planted we just have too much have an abundance of place of space and uh, already you know this whole area is gonna be producing way more than two people my grandparents can eat certainly and even much more than we can eat and friends can eat so we've got a huge abundance of food right now it's really nice so that's the tour thank you Xander for helping